Okay, so I finally got time and opportunity to do a full feature on this steam bike, as I call it. A couple years ago, I made it for a parade. So some of the building is a little bit sketchy. But uh, based off of a woman's bicycle frame from like 53, I think. And I inverted it and flipped it upside down. I thought it looked kind of cool, and I put a moped fork on it from one of those in the back. And I'm like, this could be a bike. I think that's pretty cool. So I... Uh, Ended up making the fork from scratch, but um, inverted the bike frame, found an engine. It's that, you know those Baja 80ccs or whatever, the stock engine overhead valve. Good running engine, just two and a half horsepower. It's the only one small enough to fit in that rear triangle. So I put a uh, custom made horn, so intake horn that I made for it, polyurethane foam insert to keep the flies out. Um, I want to display how it's the air ride system works so I got an air strut or air shock on the front from a truck leveling system I believe it's from and I got one on the back as well all custom fork kinda sketchy welds made perches for the top and bottom for the spring for the uh, bracket to hook up to custom fenders they're actually from a, the same 50s bike but I just rolled them so they were I bent them so the radius would match the tires and consequentially it got them fatter too and flattened them out to make them fit better for the mini bike tires if anybody knows what this rear back tire is let me know I'd be interested to know at the wheel it's a Carlisle tire made in USA kinda of dry rotted I just put an inner tube in it that four bolt and four spoke mag or aluminum comes in two, uh, comes in two halves so you can put the tire on better but uh, let me get on this air suspension real quick and I'll get to the rest so I got a system of valves here, and an air gauge, and an air tank. Threw on a couple of leather belts for looks. It's kind of a steampunk theme, if you're familiar. But um, so I'll let the front go up. Then you got to steady it, because that's how it parks. It parks flat on the ground. I got these BMX bicycle handlebars I made for the footrest what's welded to the frame. Rear shock perch is actually a fork from a, uh, the bike of the 50s. I just uh, welded it to the frame. These chains are limiting chains so the suspension can only go up so high. I'll lift the back up now. And the chains pull tight. So now it's rideable. I can't, I got, don't have a second person to help me film this, so bear with me. So now it's up and level. Then when you want to drain it back down, you got to slowly let the valve open. Oh, I'm boiling over. So I made it bubble into that long neck, just for theatrics. This one takes a while to drain. If you open the valve too quick, the water will just shoot out of that bottle right on your face. And that'll actually kind of park itself a little bit right there. Because those... I made these tubes go all the way through and hit the, hit the ground. I was going to put big ball bearings on there like I did up here. And in the back, on the back swing arm. By the way, got the little tail light, custom license plate. I'm letting the rear out. Also drains into the long neck bottle. So now she's sitting flat again. So now this is how you park it. Now let me get into a couple more details real quick. Like uh, the engine, I just stripped all the paint off of that and let it rust a little bit. I think it ended up looking pretty sweet even with the the way they got that relieved and stamped. Um, copper lines for most of the, or for the plumbing for the air system except for the front. I think I needed that to flex more or I ran out or something. Got serial number on the bottom bracket. It's now the top bracket. I need to talk about the clutch but here let's talk about the root beer bottle for the cap or for the uh, gasoline tank. Really small. You can't really make it several miles, but it's just a show bike. 
Um, this is one of the dish drainers. Kind of locks in a little bit. Um, talk about the drive system real quick. One of the main things I would have done different, thinking back, would be just putting the money forward and getting a centrifugal belt clutch because I got a belt system on the left side, live or a jack shaft that goes to the chain drive to the back tire. So this is just an old some piece of farm something or other that I mounted on one of the bolts that would hold the torque converter, so to speak. And uh, this bearing here that actually tensions the belt is from the timing system on automobiles. So you park this lever on there when you start it up and when you want to take off you gotta always have your hand on here and you gotta slowly give the belt tension and it will start driving. And I geared it down I got like a 1 to 3 or 1 to 4 ratio here. I forget the, te the gearing on the chain but this jack shaft is actually a live swing arm pivot. So I got pillow block bearings mounted on the frame the bottom mount style and then on the swing arm assembly which is square tubing kind of ugly but I put these copper plates on them to just kind of jazz them up a little bit so then there's side mount pillow block bearings here so the whole the exact pivot that the swing arm mounts on or the swings on is also the jack shaft so the chain tension does not change with articulation of the suspension so I can go all the way up and down and before I put those limiting chains on it looks funny as heck like I had it up outside and I just pumped it up and it just got looked like a dirt bike it was so high in the air it's kind of ridiculous but a couple just little details here as well is I got a little uh, like a quadrant almost of a sprocket for a gusset there put another one to hold the front lantern light on the handlebars were inverted but uh, I moved them back up for a little more comfortable ride position the lantern it is not functional at the moment, but I just did it for looks. So it looked pretty cool, and that's also mounted with a sprocket piece on there. So uh, the seat, of course, I've got to talk about the seat. It just hit me in a vision. I'm like, because a Halloween parade, and I'm like, wouldn't it be cool if I made a freaking uh, candy corn seat? So that's what I did. Took like four blocks of wood, glued them together, um, traced, you know put like the upper uh, profile on it and cut it with the bandsaw rough put the other dimension profile on it cut that on there rough shaved it down with a flap wheel sanding disc it was almost like a carving and I used a lance a lot as well for a little bit of it those like radial chainsaw discs if you will and got that taken care of painted her up and put a little slots in there because you know the candy corns never perfectly smooth Steam, in the steampunk spirit, I guess I got a set of uh, goggles hanging here. I never actually wore them, I don't think. I think on the parade, I actually had a skull face on the front that I put those goggles on. But I thought the lantern looked a lot cooler for the off-season. My lady tells me I need to put the seat, put an actual seat on there to be more comfortable, and that was just for Halloween. Maybe she's right, so I think I might put a motorcycle seat, one of those little Springer seats on it. Um, yeah, she's not fast, like I said, but it's a show bike. So, pretty cool.